Hey guys, today I had an unboxing and review for you of the Shades Cases. Shadescases.com right there. Gotta give props to Shades for getting these to me, man. They're just awesome over there at Shades Cases. Um, yeah, they didn't do that. I marked my name out just for the review. So they sent me this to review, and I thank them for that. So, um, let's go ahead and get the package open. I have my iPod right over here. So, um, yeah, this is going to be an unboxing and review, just to save time. I'm going to try and not spend too much time on the actual packaging, and just get to the actual um, review as soon as possible. Open it up, and we have a uh, case, and we have... Oh! Oh, that is very kind of you. They were just in two cases. Oh, it doesn't seem to be the same co color, so I might be giving one away. Don't get me wrong here, because these are the same color. I might be saving one and maybe opening it later and giving this one, uh, giving that one away sometime soon. So thank you, like super thanks, Shade. And nothing else in the box. So yeah, thanks a lot, Shade. That's really awesome. Okay, so here's the packaging. It's an environmentally friendly package. That's just one cool thing about Shade. Is trying to be, um, you know, aware of the environment and all. So, um, yeah, for the iPod Touch 2G. So, um, it can be opened just by, uh, pulling up here. Let's see. And that just comes open like that. And out comes the case. Here's your case. Man, it feels really good on the front, guys. Way better feeling than I expected. Um, then inside... We have some information here about the case. Um, iPod Touch 2G case. We have information about it. Applying your case. Help. Um, care. Uh, recycling in the environment. Uh, and there's some other stuff on the back. Feedback. Limited warranty. Tells you all the things about it. So, um, oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, it says the features are, it gives, um, full screen protection, uh, 1.4 millimeter thin, and it's, uh, weighs half an ounce and available in 12 stylish colors. So, yeah. Now, um, for application, sorry about that. Huh? That looks good, too. I might leave it like that for the review. Anyways, for application, um, what you do is you get your iPod Touch. Here's mine here. Um, and what I've read is you take this piece right here and you slide this on the inside and you put in your iPod and you sort of work its way through just like that and it slides out and it's a little bit difficult guys sorry I can't do that on camera because I need to use two hands but yeah so there's your application for it I'm going to turn that back on better right there. So, um, that is what you get when you turn the case on. I probably should have wiped down the screen first, but it looks good. So, um, yeah, that's what I have when, um, the case is on. So, uh, yeah, um, let me quickly do something and I'll test it out. Hey guys, um, now I'm back for the actual review of this, uh, Shades black and white case for the iPod Touch second generation. Um, now, what I've done is I have, uh, took my iPod out, and I cleaned it off some, and I, um, and I put it back in the case, and as you saw before, it kind of was a uh, pain to get in and out. That was a little bit more difficult than I expected. Um, but I did it, and it's much cleaner, and it works much better now. I'm glad I did it. So, um, just one little complaint is, uh, nothing huge, but these bubbles on the screen, when it's off, you can see these little bubbles, and, you know, um, you can wipe it off, it's more hard to, it's harder to do than you think, but, um, it is doable, you can wipe off the little bubbles off the screen, um, the best way to do it is to take, uh, something, uh, like a sheet of cardboard, a very thin sheet of cardboard, like I showed before, the instruction manual, and slide it through. That'll get rid of all the bubbles. But once you start using it again, they still reform. So there's nothing much you can really do about that. Um, everything else, though, this protector still seems to work really well. Um, you know, um, everything works perfect. Like, uh, I'll show you a simple game or something as it loads. Um, the back, as you can see, is very protected. It feels almost like plastic-like. 
Well, let's see if I can show you a simple game. It doesn't require drawing, that's what I mean. Uh, touch grind is a good example. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this is a very, uh, hard shell sort of backing, and it's, um, it, it feels good. It gives you a nice grip. I don't know if you can see that texture there. That is a really good texture. It says shades. It's, it looks sort of sparkly in the, um, in this picture, but it is a really nice texture if you start using it. Um, let me do touch grind here for you guys. I've done a review on this, so if you want more information on this game, just go to my, uh, channel. I have a review for it, so, uh, I'm just gonna warm up. I mean, here's a board I've customized, but just to show you that, uh, games and everything still work fine. Everything still works just terrifically. Ah, I totally failed that, but still. Yeah, everything works awesome. Still works terrifically on it. Um, game two. Typing still works great, so I'm going to open up something like Tweety, for example, that Twitter application, just released for Mac, totally uh, recommend that. I don't have internet connection, but I can still use it. So, um, typing, um, you, this, so, I don't know, uh, so typing is still usable in here. Um, one complaint though is um is uh, when typing on the edge of the screen, you, it doesn't um, since you're you have a case on, you can't feel that anymore. Um, it doesn't like extrude like a case that doesn't have a built-in screen protector. But see again, that's what makes this case so unique, and it's not worth losing that. So um, yeah um. It's a really tight fit. That's a good thing, though. Um, it makes it a little bit difficult to uh, attach and remove, but in the end, that's a really good thing. Um, let's see if I can get a song playing here or something to represent some speaker quality for you guys. Um, let's play something on here. Um, turn it up. So, you don't really need much sound quality when you get it. Um, Sound quality is still pretty much the same. It's not um, any uh, more quiet. In some of the cases, it sort of muffle your sound. So um, yeah, all the buttons are still fully accessible. There's no like cutout for them or anything, but um, they're still very accessible. They don't get pressed in too hard. Home button can be depressed just a little bit, a little bit harder to press, maybe slightly, um, but nothing major. As you can see down here, um, let's see, I'm gonna get a good shot on this. That is covered up slightly. When you plug in headphones, you have a little corner in the way, but that just pulls back. So really in this case has more ups and downs. It's a really awesome case. Um, it can get these little bubbles and things, but these are just a couple minor downfalls. When you start using it, you don't notice it at all. One thing you can't use with it are drawing applications and the Pogo stylus. These two things really don't like this case. So that's pretty much everything there is about the um, uh, the shades black and white case. Since they did send me two, I might be giving away the other one to U.S. only. I don't want to have to ship it out of the country because that gets expensive. But yeah, I might be having a um, a uh, giveaway with it. So um, I'll be giving it away, the second case. So I thought that would be kind of cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe.